guys, Johnny coming in, got another battle replay for you here on Total War Room 2. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the land of sieges, and I want to say this is not a regular Total War Room 2 battle. We are back again with some more War Table Room 2 Siege 3v3 tournament action. This is a different bracket altogether. I'm basically just covering battles that are sent to me. Um, but I did see this one, and I wanted to make sure that I snagged it. Uh, I'm actually going to pause it here for a second, because there's a lot of cavalry on this map. There's a lot of cavalry on this battlefield, so I wanted to pause it real fast for you guys. So this is Alexandria Arcosia. The town center for Alexandria Arcosia is sitting right there. Is your town center smiley face. We do have a 3v3, like I said. Uh, the defending team here we have is the You're Not My Mother. Saba being commanded by a Byzantine, and he has three mascot marauders, one Sabian swordsman, and then we get into his cavalry and slingers. Uh, his general is a Marib camel cataphract. He also has five units of these Sabian camel cataphracts, three slingers, and a royal camel archer. And all of this dangerousness, dangerousness, dangerousness. I don't even think dangerousness is a word, but all of this just murder is coming out of the back gate here. Then we have a Lusitani here on defense. Lusitani being commanded by Ironclad Kid, and he has eight veteran shield warriors. General is a Lusitani noble. He also has four Balearic Slingers, one Iberian Skirmisher, one Scutari Cavalry, and a Scorpion. And then finally we have Iceni being commanded by Smoking Car Bandit, Smoky Car Bandit, I think. And he has five Chosen Sword Band, three Levy Freeman, two Sword Band, two Ambushers, already outside one there one there he also has three britain slingers and two chariots along with a heroic rider general now on the other side of the battlefield the attackers i know you usually go over the attackers first but this is a little special for me the name of this team is joe schmoes and that's actually a team that's named after me i'm actually the sub one of the subs that's on this team one of the substitute players that's on this team uh so yeah, it's a little special to me. It's a little special to me. We're going to take a look at my teammates here. First, we have Galicia being commanded by Billy Bob Jr. And he has eight Galatian Legionnaires, one Levy Freeman, Noble Horse General, three Syrian Archers, one Celtic Slinger, and two units of my personal favorite cavalry, Mercenary Cappadocian Cavalry. I'm a big fan of those cavalry right there. Then we have a Seleucid being commanded by Artificial Jew. And he has six Thorax Swordsmen, three Silver Shield Swordsmen, one of those being the General, three Hillmen, four Syrian Archers, and two Camel Spearmen. And then finally, we have Chimera over here, being committed by N Sniper 101. And he has four of the Chimera Noble Infantry, four Step Spearmen, three Militia Hoplites, two Noble Horse Archers, one of those being the General, two Heavy Archers, two of the Chimerian Heavy Archers, very solid Archer unit, uh, one unit of Pick Peltast, a Scorpion, and he also brought a Citizen Cavalry that is sitting way out over there. So there you go, guys. Army compositions out of the way. Hopefully, I didn't take up too much of your time. But we're going to dive right into this battle of blood for sure. Let's go. Next in with a little bit of cavalry. But the amount of infantry that's coming out of this gate. A full army. And some others from Saba coming out over here. This is crazy. This is crazy. And I don't think the attackers really have any idea where this is coming from but i just want to put it out there that the guys that play in the war table rome 2 siege tournament the guys and girls men and women whatever you want to call it that play in the total war rome 2 siege tournament from the war table these are some really excellent players really really excellent players some really awesome people in there from my experience some really awesome people in there uh but yeah that is a lot of infantry coming out that is a lot of infantry now unfortunately for that infantry they are dealing with the scorpions that are on top of these towers so it was a good job there by the attackers facing it in this direction they're getting some shots you can see they were getting shot at not probably not anymore it's probably ran out but there were some units that were under fire i guess it is i guess it is past its time i guess i missed it oh look at this the ambushers are at work already they murdered a unit of Hillmen, but oh god, Camel Spearman. Absolutely freight trained that unit of ambushers, and they're pretty much gone. They are pretty much gone. The Hillmen now going to make their way over here. 128 men. They're going to try and help out there, but look at the slingers. 
Look at the slingers from Saba up on the wall. 25 kills so far. He's basically, I mean, he's killing Hillman, yes. But he's basically slowing the attack down. So he does have a purpose for doing that. I know I say a lot of the time, there's units that just no point. There's no point in shooting at certain units. And I definitely believe that Hillman is one of them. But he's slowing down the advance of the attacking army. So it makes sense. It does make sense. Again, guys, this is tournament action. Everybody who's playing in these tournaments knows what they're doing. They have a reason and a purpose for doing what they're doing. So any of these replays that you see me cover, I would absolutely implore you to keep an eye on, watch, view, see, take notes, whatever you want. But now they see this. Oh, God. Five Sabian Camel Cataphracts making their way around. Lusitani out here. He's actually already charged in. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even notice that. Veteran Shield Warriors getting it on with some Galatian Legionnaires. Back over on this side, we have some of the Sabian Mascot Marauders getting involved in the fight here as well. You can see this Veteran Shield Warrior still chasing down. I think he's going to try and catch that Hillman unit. Not really sure what he's doing there. But a big old brutal fight outside of the walls here. Galatian Legionnaires, Veteran Shield Warriors. I believe we have some Moscot Marauders mixed in there as well. Yes, we do. So here comes the Thorax Force of Lucid. They're going to make their way in there. Now this Cav, this Cavalry is really dangerous. So just take a peek real quick on the other side here, see what's going on. So we have all the Iceni Cav and the Chariots and the Ambusher out there. Chimera has actually sent his general over onto the other side. So Lucid's got his Camel Spearman there. So Chimera is basically going as business as usual. He's going up. He's going to start knocking down some walls. Definitely a good idea for him to continue it on. Definitely move it along. There's no point in just sitting back and waiting and seeing. He has blocked that breach over on the other side. Or brought, I'm sorry, not blocked the breach. He's blocked the water passage on the other side. He's got a very, yeah, Chimera Noble Infantry. That is nothing's getting past that. Nothing is getting past that. So Chimera's got that side pretty much on lock. Now back over on the other side here, though, we do got a little bit of a problem going on. These cataphracts are closing the distance. They're actually stomping down on some camel spearmen here. The general, oh God, very heavy melee cavalry getting a nice charge into that Sabian camel cataphract. Very nicely done there. Sabian camel cataphract, unfortunately, nine kills. We've got this Skatardi cavalry now coming across with a charge. Going to get a flanking, oh, well, actually, a pretty much a rear charge on that Thorax swordsman. Very nice. Nicely done with the Skatardi cavalry. Uh, did not use the Frenzy Charge for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why he didn't. But again, like I said, guys, these guys have reasons for doing what they do. And here comes that, can be, that uh, another Sabian Camel Cataphract. See how the General's doing. He is holding on so far, but this is a pretty close fight. Oh, wait, not anymore. Not anymore. The Skatari Cavalry coming over to help out that Camel Cataphract. And oh, boy, this Cappadocian Cavalry is getting taken out. Not looking very good. We have the Cataphracts here in the center. 13 kills, unfortunately. They did get a charge in onto some of that Silver Shield Swords. But look at that. 66 Kabean, Sab Kabean, Sabean Camel Cataphracts wavering. But here we go. Moscow Marauder's going to get a rear charge in onto the Seleucid General. That is big. Let's see how the front line is doing. We have the Lusitani Noble General has made his way over here. Currently taking on some Thorax Swordsmen. Silver Shield Swordsmen here. Oh, get beat up. 74 kills. Let's see how this line is holding so far. Galatia and Seleucid holding to the point against the Moscow Marauders and the Veteran Shield Warriors. Uh, back over here, pretty much the same. Got a Veteran Shield Warrior taking on some Galatian Legionnaires and a Hillman. Now, we do have some more infantry over here. We have a Sabine Swordsman that's come back through the breach, come outside. He's actually just took out a Hillman unit there, but Chimera now falling back away. Oh, because I seen he went back inside. I seen he has gone back inside. I do not see the ambushes anymore. There they are. Okay, so the ambush just more than likely got killed by the Chimerian general. And here he comes. He's making his way back across the battlefield with all the rest of this cavalry. Two units of noble horse archer, a, a uh, camel spearman, a citizen cavalry. There is a lot of cavalry making their way over here to continue trying to help against the fight of all of this cavalry that came out. It doesn't look like Saba is struggling all that much. 27 men left there. Oh, he's only got 23 kills. Uh-oh, Skatari Cavalry trying to take on that Noble Horse General. Now this, ooh, this could be big. If he could swing around to get into the back of that Noble Horse General with a good, solid charge. That 68 charge bonus. Does he use the trample here? Let's see. Here he comes. He is charging in onto the back of the General. He's going to charge in onto the back of the Levy Freeman there as well. Here comes that charge. 
huge camel charge right there. Very, very nicely done. Good connection there, and that noble horse losing. Skatare, Kev, looking okay. And there goes the noble horse general. At least the general unit is wavering. Big time fight here still in the middle. Sabian Camel Cataphracts, 130. That unit there with 145. But we have the citizen cavalry and the noble horse, or I'm sorry, the royal camel archers have made their way over here, getting into the ranged units of ice, of, um, I almost said Iceni. Getting into the ranged unit there of the Sabean player, and I'm just blanking on the name of this faction for some Lus Lusitani. Jesus, the Scorpion's still going though. 36 kills so far, but I think we just saw a general die there, and I want to say that that was the noble horse general. Or was it here? Nope, he's still fine. So Lusitani ranged units getting hit. I'm, I do apologize for that. Usually I'm pretty good on names and factions, but uh, just could not remember Lusitani right there. Or should I say Lusitoni? Maybe you guys will remember that one. All right, back over here. It's a little little poke. It's nothing serious. Calm down. Nothing serious at all. All right, so the Scorpion's still firing away. 41 kills there. Royal Camel Archers doing all right. Citizen Cavalry getting just absolutely vaporized. These slingers have a target, and they know what that target is. 126, 98, 98, and 92 for the Balerics. We have this slinger unit right there with 133, another unit there with 40. But the Lusitani Noble General in the center recently died. The general is dead. That is very, very rough. Now, Chimera sitting back over here. We actually have the Heroic Rider General has come back outside. Uh, do we still have both chariots inside? We do. One there, one there. Okay, so Iceni is inside the settlement almost all by himself. He's got one slinger there from Saba. Chimera Noble Infantry, I'm not sure. I guess they got hung up on something. Oh, they got javelined. Oh, Levy Freeman javelined them. Okay. 18 kills there. Oh, we just have another general that has died. And I want to say that was this. Yep, Sabine general is now dead. This is looking pretty rough for Lusitani and Saba now over on this side. Pretty much, like I said, this battle getting down to Iceni inside the settlement by himself. Now, I still have to keep an eye. They have to keep an eye on that heroic rider general. He can definitely be damaged. I mean, he can definitely be, uh, he can cause damage. I mean, he, obviously, he can be damaged, but he can cause a lot of damage. Greek Scorpion firing away on him. He's going to fall back away from that pass through there. Maybe he's going to try and come over here. Now, he, unfortunately, there's still a lot of cavalry over on this side. We still have the Cappadocian there. I think the Citizen Cavalry is gone. We still have a little bit of Camel Spearman left. The Noble Horse Archer is there. The Noble Horse Archer General is somewhere as well. There he is. He's pretty much fine. And the Cappadocian Cavalry now colliding in. 30 kills, he's gonna go get that scorpion. Make sure that that thing gets silenced and here they come on that. Big time charge, bye bye scorpion crew. Bye bye scorpion crew. Oh my God, you see that guy got thrown? Oh my God, he got tossed. Iberian scorpion unfortunately gets taken out there. So yeah, this sally out over here. I mean, it did do some damage, but I don't think it did anywhere near the damage that the defenders were really hoping that it was going to do. So we're going to have to see how this goes moving forward. Now we have the Slingers back up on the wall. He actually, he never even moved. Still have the Slingers here on the wall. The Sabian Slingers still up on the wall there, uh, firing down onto that unit of the Thorax Swords. are now gaining onto the, uh, onto the um, Tortoise right there. I almost said Scorpion. Onto the Tortoise right there. But yeah, this is pretty much all wrapped up. The final unit of cavalry that the defenders have is that heroic rider general now they do still have chariots chariots can do a lot of damage i have seen i seen the chariots as people say they're not very good blah 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 70 armor they're not that good they're not that good they're not scythe chariots i have seen i seen the chariots before get eight nine thousand eleven hundred i think the highest i've ever seen i seen the chariots get was like 1170 or 1175 they can get a lot of kills and it wasn't that i'm just putting that in here just so you guys know that 1170 or 75 or whatever it was was not on just crap infantry and archers it was on real infantry like mid-tier infantry so i mean they did very very well they really did very very well they can do very very well 
So we're definitely going to have to continue watching here to see what happens. Now, I do see that the Iceni General, he is running away. He's going to get that battle rhythm so he can get a little bit extra speed. That Chimerian Noble Horse Archer, actually both of them are chasing that General down. So it looks like he's going to try and get away. Now, I wonder, does Chimera send... Yeah, that's what he's doing. Okay. I was just about to say, does Chimera send some infantry over here to maybe try and block him off? from being in it, getting all the way around over to the gate. Does look like the the uh, Galatian Cavalry is trying to make his way over there. This uh, The um, Salusa Cavalry here, the Camel ca the uh, camel Spearmen have stopped, though. They're not going all the way across that. But I wonder, does this Cappadocian Cavalry come all the way across? Now, we're going to get a little touch of a fast-forward here because it doesn't really look like a whole lot of action is going on at the moment. But I do also know that you guys don't really like it sometimes when I make cuts in videos. So we're just going to take it along here. Uh, let's see what double fast forward does. Okay, it still moves just the same. Good. Sometimes it sometimes it kind of bugs out a little bit. Uh, that heroic rider now is being caught, and he's actually charging back. Oh no! Yeah, this heroic rider general is more than likely going to die because he's trying to deal with two horse archers here, and that is not going to go well. He's going to send this other one into the melee, keep them tied up, and probably keep the general out so the general can keep firing. And here comes that Cappadocian. Cappadocian Cavalry is on their way. They have been running for a long time, only active, though. But they are going to make their way over here, leaving this unit of Noble Horse Archers in there to keep, like I said, to keep that Heroic Rider General in place. And here comes that Cappadocian. Now, does it pay off for the Heroic Rider General to try and countercharge this Cappadocian Cavalry, or does he stay in there? Guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. But here comes that Heroic Rider General now. Not Heroic Rider General. That Cappadocian Cavalry charging into the Heroic Rider General. There we go. So he is winning still so far. Uh, the only thing I would uh, would have said was maybe... Yeah, maybe the Galatian Cav should have come around this way just so he made full contact with the Heroic Riders, but the Heroic Riders now getting dropped. Yeah, they're getting dropped down. He's going to try and go into the General. General's just going to fall away, and the, Gal the uh, Cappadocian Cavalry is just going to follow him. It's going to keep him tied up. This Horse Archer General is going to keep firing. So, unfortunately, it does look like the Heroic Rider General is going to be eliminated here very, very soon. He's going to try his luck again, getting back into the fight with the Heroic Rider, I mean, with the, the Cappadocian Cavalry. But, yeah, numbers are far too gone. Numbers are far, far, far too gone. Heroic Rider General, now the unit at least, getting knocked down. He's at 20 men and now wavering away. Let's see, is the general already dead? It's not saying the general's dead yet, so maybe he actually gets away with his life, but more than likely not. More than likely he does not. And the Cappadocian Cavalry now walking away, 189 kills. The heroic rider general retreating with 13 men, 58 kills total. So that is a tough one there. The general did die. Okay, so the Iceni general there did die. We actually, look at this. We have the Syrian Heavy Archers here firing into the settlement, getting some good shots up onto some of the Britain Slingers there of Iceni. We actually have some Levy Freeman now coming out, so Iceni is not just going to, you know, stand back and die. He is going to go fight, which is definitely something you want to see in battles. You don't want to see people just turtle up in the town center and not fight for anything. You want to see them try. You want to see them fight just like this. Chariots out here now stomping through some Thorax Swordsmen, and they're ripping around the corner. Here we go, boys. He's got one chariot already getting close to being in the mix. He's got some militia hoplites right there. Not. Oh, he went around them. He faked them out. Got into that Thorax Swordsman. Now peeling back. Oh, my God. That was a nice move. That was a really solid move. I don't know if you guys saw that. He came in, did one of those, came around, did one of them. Little little, little corkscrew-looking thing. That was kind of like my best John Madden impress impersonation right there. I know it didn't go very well. I know it didn't go very well, but I tried. I tried. You know, you can't. You can't not try. You got to try stuff. But getting into the Thorax Swordsman, yeah, I think this chariot might actually... I mean, he's still running around. He's actually still going. The other chariot on the other side of that waterway there, but now we're charging into hoplites that are not in hoplite formation. Ooh. All right, he's over 150 now. Turn, get into these Syrians. Go there, get into those Syrian archers. Oh, I think he went the wrong way. Cappadocian Cavalry. He's gotten back over here, 190 kills, chasing this chariot down. Still making their way through, 170. 186. 
There's still nine chariots to go. Is he going to get into that? Gen oh, my God. He's going. 210. Oh, they broke. Still nine left in the unit. But they got a couple more kills as they were running through. They got a couple more kills. So good for that. I mean, they did all right. They did all right. 218 kills. Not too shabby, especially with everything they were having to deal with over here. That other chariot does look like he is retreating back inside. So we can now get back into our fast forward again. I don't like making cuts. You guys don't like it when I make cuts in videos, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Levy Freeman just getting taken out right there, and here comes Salusa. No, I thought Salusa was just going to go right in there. Salusa is holding back, waiting for Chimera to get back over here. Galatia is still in the fight. Still got some Galatian uh, legionnaires there, but it uh, looks like they are now going to start making their way into the settlement. Thorax Swordsman leading the way here. Now, we do have a unit of Chosen Sword Band there. Unfortunately, the general being dead, that is probably reached. The news of the general dying has probably made it to the front line here. But it does not look like they are going to just back off. Like I said, Iceni is here to fight. He's not going to retreat. He's not going to run back to the town center. As you can see, he's got nothing back there. Saba bringing a unit of his slingers back. 133 kills. More than likely out of ammunition. More than likely out of ammunition right there. But uh, Iceni is going to stand and fight as the true barbarians, the Northmen that they are. Oh, he's retreating back a little bit. I mean, that's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Oh, that's not good. Chimerian heavy archers, Syrian archers now firing in onto that chosen sword band. He's going to have to fall away. We have some sword band here taking on a unit of Thorax swords. We're trying to hold them in place and allow these Britain slingers here to fire away. Silver Shield, Silver Shield Swordsmen have now charged in. Swordband still trying to hold as long as they can. Holding barely, holding slightly. Silver Shield Swordsmen are nasty. 385 kills for that Silver Shield Swordsman. Got themselves two chevrons, guys. Two chevrons. Crazy. see what's going on over here. I see any, I mean, I see, yeah, no, I see he's still holding the line. Chimera, Galatia, it looks like Galatia is making his way further towards the uh, breach point here. Starting to bring some of his Galatian legionnaires. Obviously, unfortunately, this unit is really beaten up. 232 kills, though. Fresh unit right there, zero kills. Another unit right there with 113 men left in it, 178 kills for them. No attempt here. Does look like the Scorpion's firing, though. Yep, let the Scorpion go. 55 kills. Firing in there, getting some kills onto those Chosen Sword Band right there. Very nicely done. Back over here again, we got the Militia Hopolites. Hopolites have made their way forward. Still, Sword Band getting shot in the back. Chosen Sword Band going to fall back. Going to get their shields in front of them. Maybe the Chimerian Heavy Archers and the Syrian Archers will stop shooting at them, but I, I don't think that's very likely. They are going to take out their younger brother there, the Sword Band unit, getting absolutely skewered. And now we have a unit of Chimerian Noble Infantry that have come off of the wall, cutting that Sword Band off from a retreat. Getting into the sword band now, the chosen sword band, I should say. Fighting back, these Iceni. They are fighting back ruthlessly. But unfortunately, oh, this man has found himself surrounded. Trying to fall back again, trying to get away. Let's see what's going on back over on this side. Chariots lined up. Looks like they're ready to go. They've lost seven. They have lost seven chariots already. We have some Britain slingers there. Oh, looks like he tried to charge in here. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, there's a chariot there. There's another chariot there. Chariots are firing. They're throwing their javelins. I don't really know what they're going to be able to do. Militia hoplites, 55 armor behind them. Some thorax swordsmen. We've got the Britain slingers firing, though. All right, 104 kills. They just broke 100 kills. Back over on this side. Seleucid starting to make his way down the road following that Chimera Noble Infantry. Over here, Galatia, Chimera, 
pressing into the Iceni chosen sword band there. And Chimera's actually pressed in here now as well. Thought I just saw. That's a Slinger unit. Britain Slinger coming around. He's only got two kills. He's only got two kills. Now, does the. Yeah, the attackers still have Cav. They have that Copa, uh, Cappadocia. Copadashian? <laughs> Cappadocian cavalry there. Still have the Noble Horse Archers as well. So they can get into these Slingers. But the Britain Slingers here looks like they're about to start unloading on that Chimerian Noble Infantry. Yeah, right there. Yes, they are. Chimerian Noble Infantry going to retreat back outside. Losing the ability to capture that tower. Oh, they're chasing. Oh, wait, no, they are still capturing. Never mind. They're still capturing. Chosen sword band, unfortunately, for Iceni outside of the wall. So they are no longer keeping this captured. And the attackers now have control of this front tower here as well. Just as they have control of this front tower here also. Final minute of the battle. Again, Iceni. I applaud you for not returning to the town center, not running away, staying for the fight. We have that noble horse, horse archer general coming in. Horse, or another, the other, actually both of them are coming in. Both noble horse archers are coming in. Slingers, I am sorry, but your day is over. Your day is done. Noble horse archers getting in there. 58 kills there. The general with 148. I see he's still fighting along though. Will not bend. Will not break. Unfortunately, they are nonstop getting shot in the back though. That is a problem. That is a massive problem. Chariots still over here though. Hold on a second. Still got the chariots. Where'd that sling? Oh, Saba slingers. Where'd they go? Oh, they ran away. They ran all the way over there. And there you go. Army losses kicking in within the last 10 seconds of the battle. And there you go. A victory in Alexandria. Arcosia. Not Alexandria. Alexandria Arcosia. Let's take a look at the ending army compositions. So this battle was dropped into the uh, War Table Discord here by Byzantine. He ended up walking away with 1,460 kills. 225 with his general. Camel Cataphracts, 131, 145. So unfortunately, only two of them getting over 100 kills. Uh, his Royal Camel Archers here with 82 kills. Slingers, 138, 133. Pretty good there. Moscow Marauders, unfortunately, none of them able to break over 100. Sabian Swords with no, 139. Then we have Ironclad Kid playing as Lusitani, 1,328 kills. 170 with his General, 49 with that Skatari Cavalry, 76 with the Iberian Scorpion. Uh, his Balerics did okay, 106, 131, 100. At least three of them over 100 kills. Veteran Shield Warriors, 103, 110, and I guess we'll throw the 89 in there. And then we have Smoky Cat Bandit playing as I see the wall, 1290 for him. 58 with the General, 218 with this Chariot. Uh, one of his ambushes there with 122. Slingers, 142. Chosen Sword Band, 159, 120. Levy Freeman, unfortunately, not very much. Top Sword Band there was a 58. Getting in onto the attackers, we have Billy Bob Jr. playing as Galatia, 1773 for his kill count. Noble Horse General, 79 kills. One of his Capitosians there, 190. Great job there. Mercenary Syrians didn't get very many kills. The Slingers got completely murdered. Uh, his Galatian Legionnaires, 102, 185, 124, 113, 232, 111, 251. Even his Levy Freeman, 113. I want to put it out. That had a gold chevron before the battle even started. I'm just saying that right now. That was not earned in the battle at all. Then we have Artificial Jew here playing as Seleucid. 1827, most kills in the game. 105 and 513 for his Silver Shield Swordsman. Great job. Two out of the three. Cavill Spearman there, 105. Uh, his Syrian archers didn't get very many. 86, 87 with the top two kills there. Thorax Swordsman, 205, 104. 148, 141. Hillman top was a 31. And then we have End Sniper 101 playing as Chimera. 1031, 1031 kills. Noble Horse Archer General, 148. The other Noble Horse Archer, 114. Citizen Cavalry, 117. Getting in with his regular archers, not very many. Chimera Noble Infantry, not very many. 95 there for the top, 92 following up there. Uh, his Militia Hoplites, top was a 44. And then his Step Spearman here, 19 was the top kill there, but he had a lot of men left over. He had about 1,700 men left, a lot left in the Chimerian army. But all right, guys, there you go. End of today's battle replay. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, 
War Table Discord link will be in the description of this video. Feel free to jump on over there. Like I said, good guys, good you know, good men and women that are in there, good players, whatever you want to call it, however you want to say it. Uh, good people, good people over there for the most part. But all right, guys, there you go. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one.